All right, there were many great movies that came out in 2019. Yeah, so Michael Cook is here, and he's going to look back on 2019 and give us his top five. Will yes. you start with five and come well, to one? We'll start with number five and work our way down. Oh, cool. right. My top five picks okay. for 2019. And for me, number five is The Irishman. Uh, it was released in some theaters, but it's on Netflix now. Uh, it's Martin Scorsese's latest movie with Al Pacino. Uh, there you see Robert De, Nar De Niro and Joe Pesci. The gang's all back together again from Goodfellas back in 1990. It tells the story of uh, The Irishman, played by Robert De Niro, who is basically a contract killer for the mob. Uh, and his tale is interwoven with uh, Jimmy Hoffa and his uh, mysterious disappearance in the 1970s. Fantastic movie. You can watch it on Netflix now. It is three and a half hours long. Oh, so my goodness. You, you will need nope. to take a couple Can you pause it? You, you will definitely have to pause it. <laughs> uh, I really love this movie. It was great to see all these actors uh, in fine form. Uh, number four mm -hmm. is Knives Out. We mm. reviewed this on the, on the show recently. Uh, it's a murder uh, mystery with Daniel Craig. Uh, there you saw Jamie Lee Curtis. Uh, the, the patriarch of the family has died uh, uh, seemingly of suicide, and Daniel Craig and some others are trying to find out what really happened with a family that all had a motive to possibly kill their father. Mm -hmm. A great uh, mystery that keeps you in thrill, that keeps you wondering what's going to happen throughout mm -hmm. the movie, and you can't really tell where all the twist goes. Okay. Highly recommend it, which is why it's number four on the list. All right. Uh, number three is Marriage Story. This is on Netflix now. It was released. Uh, it tells the, the story of it's Adam Driver, Scarlett. Johansson, and it tells the story of the, uh, the the ending of their marriage. And it's one of these weird stories, not weird, but uh, unique stories where it's a, a divorce story, but it's also a love story about mm. these two people who, who do care for each other, but who, who just can't be together mm -hmm. anymore. And Adam Driver, Scarlett Johansson, I guarantee both of these two fine actors will get Oscar nominations mm. uh, here in the next uh, week or so mm. because they are fantastic. It's a gut-wrenching movie uh, that everybody, you know, if you've ever been married, ever gone through a breakup, you can relate you know. to. Well, if yeah. he had been trying fashion. to take over the, you know, the galaxy, yeah, maybe exactly. the, the marriage could have worked. <laughs> exactly. It's all on him. Yeah. <laughs> so I, right. I, I really loved uh, this right. movie. Number two. Uh, number two is called Parasite. Okay. This is a South Korean movie. Uh, it's not a horror movie, even though Parasite makes you think of yeah, it. Kinda. It's, yeah, kind of. It's basically the story of two families. There, you see a poor family who live in a basically a, 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 a low rent basement apartment, barely scraping by, and a very wealthy South Korean family. And the the poor family starts ingratiating themselves with the rich family, and their lives become intertwined. Mm. It's a part comedy, part thriller, part. Uh, story on class and uh, and and what wealthy can do and where where the poor are stuck. Fantastic movie. Uh, it'll probably be on some streaming services soon. You have to read uh, subtitles the whole time. You have to read subtitles okay. unless you speak uh, uh, <laughs> South uh, Korean. Yeah, no, I don't. I don't, I don't. don't. How many so, of our viewers uh, speak Korean? So <laughs> it, it is subtitle, but I, but I'm just telling you. Again, it's not a horror movie, but a fantastic <laughs> drama between these two families that you'll be thinking about it for uh, days, if not weeks, afterwards. Mm, wow. Cool. Okay. And uh, coming up to our number one, or at mm -hmm. least my number one movie for 2019, the one I thought was the best, mm -hmm. is Quentin Tarantino's Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Uh, set in late 1960s, stars Leonardo DiCaprio and Brad Pitt. There you see just a fantastic uh, duo. Al Pacino is uh, uh, in this movie as well. Uh, Leonardo DiCaprio plays a fading television star whose career is sort of heading into the into its twilight, but he's still trying to hang on, even though the 60s are changing, movies are changing, but he hasn't quite figured out how to make it. Brad Pitt plays his stunt double, but also his basically his best friend as they try to negotiate the the, uh, the ending days of the 1960s. There's also uh, woven into the story there, you see Margot Robbie uh, as Sharon Tate uh, and the tragedy uh, that was tied in with the, the Manson family. Uh, we get Quentin Tarantino's take on the whole story. Mm. Just a fantastic, it's a love letter to Hollywood, to movies, uh, to friendship, to, you know, struggling against changing times. Okay. I thoroughly enjoyed this movie, which why for me, it was the best movie of 2019. Huh. Does it win an Oscar? It uh, definitely gets nominations. Um, okay. I bet Brad Pitt probably gets Best Supporting Actor for, okay. for his performance. Now, do you think, do you think right. before they were getting the script, do you think they thought, they debated back and forth between Brad Pitt and Leonardo DiCaprio? I would yeah. be the lead <laughs> exactly. role. No, I wasn't exactly. lead role. Yeah. Who's going to be? They're, they're both so good. They both, either one of them could have played uh -huh. it. Uh, yeah. but, but two fantastic actors and a great cast. Margot Robbie is also wonderful in this movie. So five movies, they'll all be on, some of them already are on streaming services, but they'll all be on there very soon. So be on the Perfect. Well, thank you very much. Thanks, Michael. Cool.